Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Midwest F1 League. I am your co-host, Stat, here with Crash, and we are here at the Hungara Ring. Uh, Hungary, Hungary GP? Hungary? Hungary? Hungarian. Same, th same thing. It's Hungarian yeah. Grand Prix. That We'll go with that one. As we are growing up on our five lights, and now we have hit all five lights, and they are about to go out, and they go out now, and we see the drivers get off pretty solidly. Nothing real crazy going on in the back here. Every, oh, yeah, we do see a little bit of a wing damage. MX blocks him, actually loses out, oh! oh, no, there we go! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, we see all four drivers collide and pinch and slam into the walls. We see Cam now out of the session. We see penalties galore being handed out. See Barry and Smokemon seem to have survived that whole ordeal. And as does MX Bloxham, but he is without a wing and a safety car is deployed. Oh my goodness gracious, I had an absolutely beautiful view of that. That was the perfect cam for that first incident. That's that's Singapore 2017 written all over it. Wow! Smoke Mon with a good little lead coming out of turn. The last turn. No grenade right on the back of C Barry. That's the two two racing points come down the hill. Good little battle here at the back of the pack. Oh, as Brian does a switch back on good guy Greg. It'll be interesting to see how fast uh, Kenny, Mossa, and Sirius bring themselves back up the field. And if they're able to give themselves a real big boost. Yes. Looks like. Ooh, the MX. Racing Ginger is taken over by MX and Asic. Oh, and what do we have? Was that Kenny? Kenny and Random Sirius got into it and smashed into the wall, and now Random Sirius is out of this session. Racing and Ginger. And now we have another safety car. And another safety car, as these guys in the back of the pack are really trying to make up this ground. And. We go green. We're back at it. Mahi Mahi taking a lunge at the best pawns bot there as he is getting an invite back into this session. He has uh, joined back. And it's still reading a bot, but the best pawns is bot actually gave him a lovely switch back there. Pierre's back actually going through the teammate of the best pawns. And as you say, Kenny, him and Monster go wheel to wheel coming through turn 14 here. Monster will get the inside line. Kenny's going to have to ride the outside, but Pork Chops is also in front of Monster there. Both keeping it very, very clean there. Some solid racing. Monster will get the slipstream from Pork. Astonic got a really As good jump Astonic. out of there. Going right on the inside of Monster now. Right tight on the back of Pork Chops. Good little battle here. Some solid racing there. As Aztec switches back to the inside, as Pork try to go around the outside, sticks it. Safety car again, Seabury's oh, crashed. Seabury and Pork Chops is out as well. As that was all happening, Pork Chops lost it into the wall. Seabury, unfortunately, Wait. no points for the Renaults tonight. Seabury lost it out of turn four. As we have four cars who have bit the dust I guess you can say we are back live Nikki seemed to have got a pretty good run oh blocks him has sorry Brian has a really good run of blocks him heading it down into turn one but nothing will happen as Kenny will fight Astonic and gets oh no clog clog is fighting a Tevi never mind Nikki actually overtook the Garrus back fairly oh, early there. Uh, Bloxham and Heavy collide, but no damage. If they come around turn three together, run Neither each are wheels. Oh, there we go. It's Heavy does give up that position. Bloxham still has a very good shot at, oh, at winning here. Brian goes down the inside and hits Heavy and spins out at turn five. Mossa spun out at turn five, so he will be at the back of the grid. Blocks him Blocks looking at the inside. The inside as well. Ooh, and shoots it. A little, Ooh. little bit of a touch. 
There's Kenny also on the back of them. We're seeing some There's real tight it's racing a, it's here. It's a tight pack here from sec second to sixth. As Clog goes down the inside. Ooh, MX blocks him going him from on one side of the track to the other there. Ooh, Kenny's going to take a look at the Garrus back here in the chicane, and he will get it. He will take it. Kenny right on the back of Bloxham. Whoa, he gets real tight. Oh, as Bloxham hits the back of Ponds, almost Ooh. spins him out. That slows him right up, though. Bloxham's going to have to go Bloxham to the pit. Bloxham now comes into the pits. Kenny coming around. He'll... He'll have a chase on Pons. Ooh, as Astonic has a good run down on Mahi. And he... Oh, Mahi's hanging on around the outside and he makes it. Hold on. Smoke him on watching them both. Uh, no, I don't believe Kenny has damage there, JC. Oh, his best Pons spins oh, out of turn spins five. spins out. As we see him off the side, sees everything has settled down. Halig's gonna have a pretty decent lunge at Garris Vac here in this straight stretch. Garris Vac seemed to have gotten some better traction. I don't think that gap is tight enough. Actually, he's making up some gnarly time here. Is yeah, he will be able to ta overtake him. As Helg will now jump up position. Ooh, oh, Garris, Garris did a switch back, and it's now a sprint down to turn two. That was a oh, lovely Helg little switch back. Out. But I think Helg oh, has the better Garris, traction Garris now. trying his hardest. Oh, he can't make it. Astonic will have a run down to turn four. Oh, he won't, he won't stick it. That's a very near impossible corner to pass. Ooh, Ooh Garris, Garris back gets up on that concrete Astonic curb a little bit. Inside. And does overtake the position as now he's going to have to deal with Smokemon for the battle for six. Kenny's now within three tenths of Clog. And he's truly gaming, gaining some time here. Enrique, Smoke, and Garrus in the battle for six. Garrus goes into the pits. It will just be Enrique and Smokemon having this fight down to turn one. The smoke one goes wide and we'll pick up three seconds. Oh, Kenny Ooh. right on the heels of Nicky. As he will take the place. But will Nicky hold on? Ooh, Blocks MX blocks him and Noganator go no wheel guess. to wheel. Noganator not giving in. Having the softer tire compound, but it blocks him with the fresher tire. We'll make this move stick and we'll hold on to 10th place. As the man who collected pole off qualifying is now in 10th place with nine positions to make up between him and the, his first race win of the year as well. Ooh, as yeah. there we go. We're on board with blocks him here. Claw going right at It's Heavy. Going a little bit deep. We've been seeing a lot of switchbacks into turn one there. It's heavy, kind of tried it on Clog, but Clog was able to make that move stick and is now in eighth place with a much fresher medium tire. Ooh, MX Bloxham will take a lunge on the inside, but rightfully so opts out. It's heavy did somewhat give him a racing line, but the, the room truly wasn't there enough for Bloxham to take over that position. Ooh, Mahi getting right tight on Asnik as Asnik lost a little bit of pace there and Mahi went right on the back of him. Best Pons picking up Smoke his first penalty of the way. On the Sorry, quickly, Mahi. Hell. Mahi just took a nice little lunge into Asnik, but Asnik will now get DRS going to that straight there. So we'll get on the back of him. Within Ooh, half a Yeah, real. Or oh, Asnik, not the best release. Mahi instantly jumping to the inside as Asnik comes around the outside. Does he make a stick? Mahi lunges back. Asnik going for it inside but loses a little traction. Oh, it's a good run to turn two. Oh, Asnik holds line. We also have the racing points going at each other down this, this front straight. Garris goes straight to the inside. Best Pons has a great launch down the outside. We'll pretty much take straight 
track position straight away. Oh, wait. As I know, I thought they collided for a second. Best no, one's bad traction out of there. Garrus runs straight into the back of him. Oh, and now it goes in the inside and completely misses his breaking point and goes way past the turn, but will get his position back. As Pond's good run. No grenade are just sitting back and watching all this unfold in front of him. He does have the far fresher tires. May be able to dispatch these drivers somewhat quickly here, or at least he'd like to. So no grenade are right on the back of the two racing points here. Oh, there we go, oh, no grenade. Lunch down the He's outside. looking to trap Garris back. Kind of goes for somewhat of a oh, switchback. He gets, he gets a good a, run on Garris. He gets a great launch. Oh, Unfortunately, he's, he's out of battery. Oh, he's, he's not going to get a good run on Ponzo. Oh, he goes for a lunge. Oh, he makes it stick. And will get DRS once again. No good at a Great double pass there. Heading down the front straight. Great from a half driver. That was lovely. He just, he, he forced racing point, or he forced Garris back to get stuck right in behind Best Ponds, who just didn't have the pace. Oh, it's getting a good we lost, on clock here. We lost a good guy, Greg. We've lost good guy, Greg. He spun out again. Bloxham does collect sixth place here. Kenny's got to make up a second a lap on Smokemon and Helg to get his first win of the year. I think he can do it. Oh, Clogmonger lost it and drifted right in front of Nikki and unfortunately pushed him right into the wall. Still in eighth and ninth, unfortunately, that will bring them down the order. Kenny is still shrinking that gap as he's now within three seconds with four laps to go. He can see Helg just off into the distance there, coming through turn, coming into turn one right now. He's already taken a half a second off of that straight. Now that's, it's heavy in front of him, I believe. So that, he could come massively into play here. Because if Hell gets a clean pass on its heavy, which seems to be a bot, then, and Kenny gets caught up just the slightest, that could completely end Kenny's chance for the podium here. Helg seemed to have found some kind of late race pace here. As, oh, as we see. Kenny's gonna get how did pass cleanly can he does get does, held up can he get slowed up just slightly and that gap seems to have stayed the same right before they met so no true harm done but it could have been of a lot worse and better situation for kenny so you got to take it mahi seemed to have made a mistake somewhere and has now lost half a second on the smoke one and smoke one getting drs but without any battery he won't be able to take the best of lunges for that final podium position there as both with three second time penalties, that third position is still very much up for grabs. Smokemon going around the outside, but kind of opts out of it. Not really a switchback opportunity there. He's going to have to pick a different spot for the overtake on Mahi here. It doesn't look like this is going to be the day. Unless Helg did not serve that three second time penalty. Kenny's just got to complete the lap and keep within three seconds just in case. Oh, but his pawns the, get in the way. The best pawns does get in the way. Ask Nick pick up another penalty. We'll jump on with Helg so as he comes as over the right line. Now, Helg. We're going to see Kenny. And yes, and Kenny he did. Takes the win. Take Kenny, Kenny gets takes his the win. first win. As the drought is over. Helg's he's three second penalty. Helg did not end up serving that penalty, and Mahi ended up collecting another penalty. Smokon will get a back-to-back -back podium for his back-to-back -back races. Mosser getting a huge jump into fifth place now as Astink had astronomical penalties, throwing him down to seven. So Kenny finally breaks his drought. We are definitely getting on for a, uh, an interview here. Kenny must be super happy with that.